In this video, we are going to start solving some right triangles. And so we're going to be using sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, in this video, particularly, we're going to focus on just using sine. So all of these situations are going to be set up that you're going to use sine. So how would we know that? So we're going to use Sokotoa to help us solve it. And so every one of these situations is going to be, we're going to have an opposite and a hypotenuse um, pieces, or we're looking for something and an angle. So from that angle, we're either going to know or looking for the opposite or know or looking for the hypotenuse. So we won't know anything about the adjacent, okay, which would involve the other two. So if you look at your picture here, we have this angle, which we don't know. And then the information that we do know is this side over here which is the opposite, and this side here, which is the hypotenuse. So based on that, we have to use sine. So sine of angle A, which we don't know, so sine of A would equal opposite over hypotenuse, 7 over 21. So if we are going to try and figure out what an angle measurement is, we are going to use the inverse sine on our calculator to find a missing angle. Okay, so we're going to type into the calculator the, oops, the inverse sine. So sine inverse of seven over 21. All right, and then that value that we get out of that is gonna be our angle measurement. And we are taking this and we're rounding it to the nearest tenth. And then the other piece that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we are um, in degrees. Perfect. So we are going to do the inverse sine of 7 over 21 and figure out that answer. So we're rounding the nearest tenth. So we're looking at a 19.5. So 19.5. All right, so next one is we have the angle, but we're looking for the side opposite. And the other piece of information that we know is the hypotenuse. So since we know the angle, we know the side opposite, or we're looking for the side opposite, and we know the hypotenuse, that's telling us that we are setting up our sine. So we're setting up sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 53 degrees, 53.5 degrees is going to equal opposite, which we don't know. We'll say that, actually we'll say it's an A since that's the piece that they're calling it over there, over hypotenuse, which is 15. So this time we're trying to solve an equation. So to solve this equation, we're trying to get A by itself. So we're going to clear out the 15 by multiplying it over. And so our A value is going to equal whatever that turns out to be. Okay, so we're going to take 15 times sine 53.5 degrees. So that's going to get us 12.1. So 12.1 uh, meters. All right, so then we'll have one last situation where we are looking to fill in, find everything that's missing on this triangle. So we're looking for angle D, angle E, angle F. Uh, angle F we know to be 90 degrees. Angle E we don't quite know yet, but we do know angle D is 32.5. Um, we can figure out angle E because we are talking about a triangle, which means we are talking about um, that these three angles make 180. So if I take 180 minus the 90 degree angle minus the 32.5, what I'll have left is that angle. So I'll throw that in a calculator. We got 180 minus 90 minus 32.5 gets us 57.5. Okay. So now we're looking at sides. So 
The side that we do know is side E, which is across from angle E. Side D is going to be across from angle D, and side F, the hypotenuse, is going to be across from uh, angle F. So we know E to be 24, uh, 24 inches. Okay, so we're looking for the other ones. So basically, we kind of pick um, an angle or we pick something where we're trying to focus on sine, but we don't have to focus on sine. We can really use anything we want. Um, so I'm going to use something different on this one in particular. And it's because I have right now from this angle, I have the adjacent. Okay. If I have the adjacent and if I'm looking for the opposite, then opposite and adjacent. So let me write that down. So Katoa. All right, the opposite and the adjacent tells me that it's a tangent that I'm going to be setting up. So I would set up tangent of our angle of 32.5 degrees. That would equal the opposite, which we don't know, over 24. So D over 24. And then I solve. So to solve that, I'm going to try to get the D by itself. I'm going to multiply by 24 on both sides. So D, these are going to cancel. D is going to equal whatever that turns out to be. So multiply that 24 times tangent of 32.5. So we'll round that to the nearest tenth. So we're looking at 15.3 is what D would equal. It's inches, so side D, 15.3 inches. All right. And then if I'm looking for F, I'm going to try not to use any new information that I just found. So I'm strictly going to try and stick with using 32, using 24, and trying to find the hypotenuse. So from this angle, I know the adjacent. I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So if I know the adjacent and I'm looking for the hypotenuse, that's telling me I should be setting up a cosine. So cosine of our 32.5, it's gonna equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 24 over F, we don't know. And this one's a little bit trickier, a little more work, that I do still wanna treat the same thing. I wanna clear out my fraction, but unfortunately it's a variable that I'm multiplying over. So that clears that out. So now we have F times cosine of 32.5 equals 24. Cosine of 32.5 is just some decimal. So it's something multiplied to F. If I want to undo multiplication, I'm going to have to do division to undo it. So I'm going to divide 32.5, um, cosine of 32.5 on both sides. So it cancels on that side. F's going to equal whatever that turns out to be. So we're going to take 24 divided by cosine of 32.5 and get 28.5. So 28.5, 28.5. And then a quick spot check is uh, F should be the biggest because it's across from the biggest angle. 32.5 um, is the smallest angle and it should be across from the smallest side. So D should be the smallest. So that checks out. So most likely um, we did the math correctly. So that was um, solving some triangles, initially kind of focusing on sine, but then depending upon the information that you have, um, you can shift to any of them. And it all just kind of depends on what you know and what you're looking for.